one of the more interesting things um, that that I've struggled with is a sort of desire to get things done. And that idea that you have to sort of quickly wrap things up and get going onto something else. I don't know where that is. I think it's sort of built within the culture of efficiency and productivity and the emphasis on outcomes. And um, in my experience, in almost all of my experiences, that has been the complete opposite wrong thing to do in both of um, my own life and other things that I've seen around me that um, have collapsed and has not worked out. And the emphasis on productivity and efficiency usually results, particularly within, you know, creative endeavors or novel endeavors, usually results in the failed projects. Because there is this emphasis on that there needs to have a certain, it needs to be done within a certain amount of time or a certain budget. And frankly, you can't really estimate novel innovations very well at the beginning. You can't predict on how much or how long things will take. And um, what will happen is that you will ship something or it will go out and it will be a very raw product and won't be that good. And that's okay, right? Um, as long as you have the emphasis that you're going to fix this thing and it's going to keep going and you're going to constantly iterate on it. But what ends up happening often with sort of budget cycles and how people view these things do, um, view these things is that you ship it and then it's done, right? But the problem is when you ship it, so you rush to get it done and you ship it, it's never complete. And it's problematic. And what ends up happening is that the people that sort of emphasize that just get it done sort of um, attitude, that they um, end up shipping a, a poor product and it doesn't work very well. And then they give up on the product and they blame the fact that it was poorly managed or, you know, that there was a, a poor product involved, it wasn't good. And instead of thinking of more along the lines of a growth mindset. Now, it's kind of like this, right? So imagine we had the same view with kids, right? And, and some of us do, right? That um, we're just a matter of cooking something and you have to cook it really quickly. But kids develop at different paces, different styles. They all come and go at different times, right? So sometimes somebody might be spectacularly gifted in one particular area but then they're not in another and it just takes some time to develop and to grow and you know what ends up happening or what you need to do is sort of stress the growth component stress the you know just not giving up and and going on it now if i put this in the context of kids everybody's like well duh right when i talk about you know seven eight year olds Everybody's like, well, duh, you know, like it's kind of, it just takes time and it takes effort to sort of ref, uh, refine these things. And so if we take that out of the same context and we put it into something else, maybe it is being an academic and shipping out uh, research papers, for example, or maybe it's innovation projects and you're creating innovations and you're shipping these things out. Well, all of a sudden our, our, our frame, um, you know, frame of reference changes and we think it's a different process and we think it's completely sort of, an, um, you know, independent and we're expecting these things to be finished products at the beginning and what ends up happening. So imagine this, right? Like how stupid is this? If the, the mindset is, is that if you have a kid that's not progressing, that you just drop them out of the class and that's it. They stop and they, they don't develop anymore, right? So in third grade, they're not progressing at a certain rate. We just say, hey, let's drop them out of the class because they're not progressing at a certain rate and they can't come here anymore and they can't go to school anymore. Well, how dumb is that? Like, it, it just seems absolutely stupid to think of, um, you know, building kids in this sort of same, in, in this way that we sort of treat all innovation endeavors or all projects. Instead, you know, what we maybe should do is take a different view and, and sort of view as, um, you know, all innovation projects or, um, you know, of these sorts. And so just saying, we'll just cut you off. <laughs> like, how dumb is that? 
Instead, what we should be doing is say, hey, let's devote more resources to this thing and think about how we can dedicate and, and sort of figure out how to nurse this back into, um, you know, make it make it better, make it into something that's that's legitimate and, and not give up on this particular individual or this particular team or, you know, this particular project and and throw better managers, throw better people actually help out in different ways instead of sort of cutting off. I think, I mean, in, in you know, in my head, I'm, I'm sort of thinking of, you know, what happens in the academic game, right? So the academic game is that there's just, you're, you're just throwing at the wall, right? Like you've got pro research projects and everybody competes against each other. They're not really given a lot, a lot of resources. And then, um, once something is failing, they cut them off. They don't give them tenure. They, you know, cut off different resources or whatever. And, you know, all of these, the definition of failure in this case is very arbitrary. And there's not necessarily very good lines of what that means. But then, you know, the objective or the idea is instead of, you know, aiding and helping, you simply just remove the problematic thing from the system. And that is the complete opposite of how we treat much, many things in life. And we know it doesn't work to sort of cut things off. Can you imagine if we did that, right, in, in terms of education, right? You had kids and you just cut them off at fifth grade. They're not performing. Cut them off. Give them up, right? And then we have a whole bunch of resources. We have a whole bunch of kids that are on the street or whatever, right? All these kind of things. Um, and, you know, it really doesn't pan out. The objective doesn't pan out. You know how many times I guarantee you talk, talk to any teacher? Because I've seen this. Um, I've seen this in myself. I've seen this in, in other people um, where you're just not doing well for a time period in, in, in the educational system. And then for whatever reason, it clicks. And then things start happening really amazingly quick. Um, and, and then you're, you know, the top performer. You're doing really well. And that is completely normal to see those particular things. And that is a, a symptom of that there's just poor resources or, you know, you're just not getting the, the resources that you actually need. And that happens all the time um, within, you know, whether it's innovation or, you know, anything. A lot of government projects are completely poorly run because of this, right? We sort of the way that it's set up is that it sort of has to meet some sort of cost efficiency, which is absolute garbage because you're not thinking about the benefit. You're only thinking about cost, right? So you're thinking about um, the cost of these things. And, and then once the cost gets to a certain level, you throw it out, uh, which to me makes no sense, right? Like, um, you know, many, you know, public projects that have been terminated because the fact that it's been too costly and yet the benefit could have been far greater if they simply just continue to do this and, and work at it and, you know, just, you know, dedicate more resources to it. It makes no sense to me. Right. And, and I know that some of you are thinking like, oh, well, but you can't do, keep doing that forever. Well, um, can you? You know, that's the thing. Like a lot of these projects require a great deal of time and effort. And the returns might be spectacular and you just don't know, right? Like we don't have any information on whether that's going to be the case or not. And, um, you know, that's the challenge with it all, right? And it's the same as kids, right? You don't know whether it's actually going to be a good resource to invest in those kids. Um, and some of them might end up in jail, right, as adults. Um, but the number of them that you prevent from going into jail or, um, you know, going on the streets is spectacular by doing it. And I think we should be thinking about that in a different way. And we should be treating innovation projects and, you know, um, any sort of this or pursuing novelty projects in a completely different way in a, in a growth mindset, in, you know, an investment mindset and all sorts of other things. That is completely different than the way that we currently do it right now. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day.